Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lewis Gaming and welcome back to another Space Engineers video and I know it's pretty soon after our uh, beta release vid but for good reason um, even though we got to see the models um, we didn't really get to see them I guess in action all too much so I figured I'd show you guys a build of mine um, I would say one of many but that's like my crap save sort of <laughs> destroyed all of them except for probably two of my only decent creations um, but one of them I'll show you now so uh, if we take a look just up here we have a small ship and now this will give us a good um, idea as to what these models look like on a small ship too because those models in the previous one were, were on a large scale not a, not a small scale but um, this here is one of my creations. I haven't released it on the workshop just yet, but I'll give you guys a rundown of what it is um, and why it's designed like this. So the reason it's, I've gone for this sleek design with thick armor plated on the front and sides um, is because this is supposed to be a, a cargo slash module dropship, um, a quick response dropship, in in my opinion. So. Um, what I intended this ship to be for was um, dropping off large sort of module design pods that would either have cargo containers or um, if they ever add um, doors and stuff for small ships like they do with the um, oh, where is it with this thing here so you know the you got the normal door if they ever add these in for small ships that'd be great but um, till then um, you know I can't really get too complex with these cargo pods but they're designed to fit in between these two legs here um, or I call them legs, they're more like just the side of the ship, but they're designed to fit just in between here. They're about the width of these pipe um, conveyor pipes and they've got a connector on. They connect onto the base of the uh, base of one of these and um, and then this thing hauls it off to its, its drop location. So um, everything I design in Space Engineers is always in modules, so like um, like the American shipyards that build the aircraft carriers, they always build in modules, so that's what I do with this. Um, any build I do, I always do in a module, so um, yeah, so it makes it a lot easier. But you know, as you can see, the the, the design of um, the small blocks, uh, in my opinion, have always been a lot more detailed, and and you can add a lot more detail. To a ship, use uh, to a small ship than you can a large ship. Like in comparison to this, if I was to copy this exact build, in fact, I I did a little with this ship here. So this ship here, I'm working on. I'll give you a small um, rundown of what it is. It's supposed to be an escort vehicle for this. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. But as you can see, I designed the the, um, the pod nacelle thing uh, exactly the same as this so um, plus yeah plus a few added design elements it's pretty much exactly the same but as you can see it's not as I guess detailed as it is on a small ship I mean um, it looks looks a lot better on a small ship we'll get rid of the HUD like look at these bloody um, atmospheric thrusters, the small atmospheric thrusters, I absolutely love them. The fact they look like um, thrusters off a bloody Hornet, um, I really love. Like I can just picture you flying through the atmosphere and those bloody flap things folding in towards the center as you thrust forward. You know, sort of, you know, compressing that force and giving you extra thrust I guess I don't know but <laughs> as you can see all the armor plates in here it's all light armor so it's very light and agile 
Um, but the light armor looks absolutely fantastic. The small hydrogen thrusters on this, beautiful. The color works w really well for default. These large atm atmospheric thrusters um, don't look too out of proportion on this. Like they they suit really well. These landing gears too s um, look absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got you know minimum protection. The um, thing I thought was really really well done is the small antenna. Um, if everyone remembered the other one, it looked like a bloody needle, sort of, with um, I guess a sort of semicircular arm brace. So the needle would be in the middle, and and the sort of middle frame around middle circular frame would be the needle point um, arm rest thing. So it looked absolutely hideous. I mean, there's no other <laughs> way to describe it, but pure ugly but I like this new one it looks like it can and turn and rotate which I really like the new cockpit design too for the fighter cockpit looks really really good actually no, this ain't the fighter cockpit is it it's the let's have a look now I haven't given this a proper name so excuse the uh, name I've got here but um, what is this is this the pilot cockpit no, it's just a standard standard cockpit, but yeah, uh, we'll drop down, get back into the spectator, and continue looking around. Um, this thing has plenty of gyros on it, a few exposed ones, a couple Gatling turrets, the laser antenna in the middle, um, which is well guarded, uh, sort of, but um, even the model for the laser antenna for the small ships is um, completely different to the large one. The large one still looks uh, the same as the old one, so as we rush up here. Uh, you'll see that it still looks exactly the same as the old one. Um, very few changes on it, but the small one looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, more atmospheric thrusters on the sides here, going up, down, every direction you can think of. And then the hydrogen tank. Now, I love this hydrogen tank for the small ship. looks absolutely stunning. Um, definitely a lot better looking than the large one, in fact. So we can slap down one now, and you will do a comparison. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd do a, a, a another video for you guys to best com do a comparison um, for these new models and textures. Um, you know, by showing you one of my ship builds compared to just showing it on a bloody sh station platform. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's definitely a huge improvement. I'm I already love the look of this dropship and um, how it's turned out with these new models and textures compared to what it did before. I was a bit ashamed and didn't want to really post it on the workshop, but um, I will do that pretty soon actually when I complete this beauty over here behind us. Um, for those who have already watched my couple spotlights on it sort of progression on this ship it's the new dawn for those who don't know uh, she was supposed to be a carrier but um, didn't quite work out that way I mean she's got the fighter bays on the side so she can hold two um, alert fighters on either side um, probably more if you wanted to depending on how you design them but um, you know they launch out the side they return in the front part of the cell here and it's only the top ones as for the bottom they're just purely thrust um, the turrets on this looked absolutely hideous with the older models but now that the newer models um, I was annoyed uh, if you didn't notice in the previous video that they didn't really shrink them in size but um, when I loaded up this um, world save of mine I actually noticed they do look a little smaller in comparison and definitely a lot better too like it definitely suits the ship I mean she's absolutely bristling with, bristling with weapons and uh, they're all on the top too so um, she definitely needs an escort vehicle hence why I'm building one over there and I'll probably put um, well the main intention is to put some um, missile turrets on the bottom because I want her to be able to be able to enter atmosphere and um, while in atmosphere flying above an enemy base should um, all the missile turrets would be pretty much bombarding someone's base so you know 
if in atmosphere you can just pretty much bombard the shit out of someone's base with missile turrets uh, whereas uh, in space you've got um, a range of different turrets so you've got the Gatling guns, you've got the um, interior turrets which are like bloody rail guns you've got the missile turrets so you've got a good range there um, which is what I really really like about this ship um, in terms of the rest of this ship nothing really exciting I mean I was making this for I guess docking purposes on the side there but yeah that's all, all she wrote so yeah, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you on the flip side.